calcium is the most important mineral in your dog's diet, and it's also the most abundant. If your dog weighs 75 pounds, then a full pound of him would just be calcium. But what you might not know about calcium is that it doesn't just build strong bones. It also acts as a messenger for hormones and it's critical for muscles and nerves to work properly in the body. So if your dog doesn't get enough of this most important mineral, then things can go really bad really fast, especially in puppies. So let's look at how to make sure your dog gets enough calcium in his raw meals. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. Now, all raw feeders know that the best source of calcium for dogs is bones. That's the easy part. And bones aren't just made of calcium, but they also contain the other minerals and vitamins that calcium needs to do its job in the body, and it contains them in the right amounts. This includes vitamin D, magnesium, zinc, and especially Phosphorus. Calcium and phosphorus work synergistically in the body. They're like yin and yang. Now, meat is high in phosphorus, but it contains virtually no calcium. On the other hand, bones contain about double the amount of calcium as they do phosphorus. So, on the whole, you want just a bit more phosphorus in the diet than calcium. So it's important that your dog's raw diet contains bones. But when it comes to bones, most raw feeders have two pretty important questions. First, which bone should I feed my dog? And second, how much bone should I feed my dog? Now, when it comes to choosing which bones to give your dog for his calcium supply, they just need to be something that your dog can eat completely. If your dog can't chomp a bone up within a few minutes, then it's hard to call it a part of the diet. And your dog might not be getting all of the calcium and minerals he needs if he can't eat all of the bone. So think about easily consumable bone like chicken or turkey necks and backs, and for larger dogs, maybe lamb necks and veal tails. You could also feed whole small animals with a bone in, like rabbit or quail. If your dog can munch them up quickly, then you know you're on the right track. And here's a safety tip. You'll want to avoid large bones like cow femurs and other large weight-bearing bones for two reasons. First, because your dog can't eat them entirely, so you don't know how much calcium he'll be getting. And second, dogs can easily break teeth on those large weight-bearing bones. Fractured teeth are painful and potentially expensive, so make sure you keep your bones small and safe. And by the way, let me know in the comments if this is helpful and if you want more of this content. It's important to build a raw diet the right way and I'm here to help you. So the next question is, how much bone should you feed your dog? And of course, Mother Nature has the answer. In the wild, whole animals average about 12% bone with very little variation. Even eggs, which are another source of calcium, have shells that make up 12% of the entire egg's weight. Mother Nature doesn't set her animals up to fail. So it's clear that 12% is a number that we should be aiming for when it comes to bone. Now this will also give you enough calcium and phosphorus to meet or exceed AFCO minimum requirements for both calcium and phosphorus. But here's the problem. How do you know how much bone is in, let's say, a chicken neck? Well, here's a little trick. Go to Google and look for Health Canada Nutrient File, and then click on the Canadian Nutrient File, or CNF. And then you'll see a place to type in your food. I'll choose turkey neck, click on the food, and then you'll see refuse listed. Now, most of the time, the amount of bone will be listed under the refuse. And you can see here that the average turkey neck is 42% bone. Next, you just have a little bit of math to do, but it's not hard. Here's the equation. 12, which is the amount of bone that you're aiming for, divided by the percentage of bone in the food, times 100, 
equals a percentage of your dog's food that that bone should be. So in the case of our turkey neck, which is 42% bone, we'll do 12 divided by 42, which is 0 0.286. And I multiply by 100 to get the percentage of turkey necks that should be in the diet to get to about 12% bone. And that number is 28.6%. So on the whole, roughly a third of my dog's meals should be turkey necks while the rest should be meat and organ meat. Now you can feed your dog anywhere from 10 to 15% bone. Anywhere around there is fine, but this is important. Puppies need more calcium than adult dogs. So make sure that you're at 15% bone for puppies. If it's much less than that, then they probably won't be getting enough calcium. Now, Health Canada doesn't have a complete list of foods in bone, so you can also visit Dogs Naturally magazine and just search for how to balance calcium and phosphorus in the raw diet, and you'll see this post. I'll also give you the URL and the resources below. Just scroll down and you'll see a list of bone values for most of the common foods that we feed our dogs. So I hope that makes balancing calcium easier for you. But if you have a question about calcium or raw feeding in general, just leave a comment below and I'll be happy to help you out. And if you like this video, please make sure you like it, share it, and tell people about it. Thanks for watching.